Ghana's emergence as one of Africa's most dynamic emerging markets has been rapid. Think about it. Ghana has one of the best enabling environments for private participation in infrastructure development on the continent. With an agenda to transform and improve cross-country connections and stimulate economic activity. There's also a fast uh, infrastructure development agenda. More and more people are looking for good investment destinations and I'm glad to say uh, the international community continue to see Ghana as a good destination for investments. An aggressive upgrade of the road networks, air transport, port facilities, health and social infrastructure has been underway in recent years. Another advantage that uh, we have is the proximity to the port. From here to Takrave is just about 20, 20 miles with very good road. And even from here to Accra also where we have to, to do government business, the road is also very good. Infrastructure spending has been growing at 10% per year and is targeted to reach $180 billion by 2025. Ghana has a huge infrastructure deficit, so we are expecting that in the next five years there's going to be a lot of activity in, in rail, in roads, our airports will have to expand. Think about the opportunities along the value chain as these expansion plans reach completion. Opportunities in increasing the energy infrastructure and closing the existing gaps, broadening the energy mix. A population growth rate of 2% per year and increasing urbanization is fueling huge expansions in the cities. There is pressure on the housing stock requiring investment in this sector to meet a deficit of 1.7 million units. Communications and mobile telephone penetration is one of the highest in Africa. We have a very vibrant telecoms uh, market. We have voice penetration at 130%. We have data penetration at 68%. So that's very positive for, for the market. The sector has seen massive investment in network infrastructure as demand for more bandwidth grows and opportunities increase for mobile data and mobile money services. Economic growth is a trajectory that we can expect and we can sustain over a period. Ghana is on the move, increasing the capacity of its international airports from 2.4 million to 5 million passengers per year. Its firm intention is to make Accra the regional hub for all international air traffic in the sub-region. Investments in health infrastructure is valued at $832 million, with major construction work underway on its hospitals and health centers. Increasing new hospital beds to 6,000 by 2017. The only center in West Africa that is well equipped to handle these emergency cases is such a large facility and well-trained staff to handle these emergency cases. So the opportunities are there for businessmen to exploit and I think uh, over the years we are going to see more of them. Ghana is open to partnerships and keen to encourage private participation in financing, construction, management and ownership of infrastructure projects. This is the time to think Ghana. Make it happen.